Welcome y'all, Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks so much for joining us. Most of us have a massive cold front coming right now. It's not already at your doorstep. It'll be there the next day or two. Temperatures are about to drop in the whitetail woods is about to get full of deer hunters hunting this first cold front. I wanted to make a video telling you guys where I think you need to be hunting right now to target those mature bucks. We're in a predominant white oak forest right here in West Kentucky. I just wanted to take a second and I wanted to show you just how thick these acorns are right now second day of October 2023 and this is what the white oak acorn crop looks like. So there's no doubt that deer have been absolutely hammering these, these acorns right now. It's a above average crop. And I'm gonna go through and we're gonna talk about these species and which ones the whitetails are hitting right now, which ones are gonna be better later on. If you don't know how to ID some of these trees, I'm gonna try my best at IDing some of these trees for you to show you where you can recognize uh, what these trees look like to be, to be able to hunt because it's really difficult you get out there and, and there's three, 400 acres of woods. You start looking up in the trees, trying to figure out. So there's a hundred different types of, of oak trees out there. So I think it, it deserves a little bit of talk and we're gonna try to go through some of those today. So what gives a white oak away is when you start looking up and you see that kind of shag, it's kind of got a shaggy bark hickory uh, resemblance to it. And this forest is almost exclusively white oak right through here, just about everything um, this one here, uh, that's a maple that the that the lock-on's on. Here's a young white oak right here. Of course, I can't really view up because the sun's... But that's a young white oak. There's two or three more right through there. And I have never in my life seen white oak acorns like them right there. Those things are absolutely gigantic. Typically, we find white oak acorns will be a kind of long and and skinny and these almost look more like reds than they do whites but there's no red oaks in this woods right here and and that's what these are but good night of living just look at all of them and they're just absolutely solid okay now granted there's a mature white oak right here and there's another one right there this is a shaggy bark hickory right here there's another white oak right here, but I want you to look how many acorns are on the ground right here. I mean, you couldn't put your hand down right there and not be touching a half dozen acorns, maybe more than that. And there is deer crap all in here right now. I mean, they are absolutely in here, thick as absolute hair. So if you've been in the whitetail woods very long, you know that white oaks are preferred by whitetails. Why that is, is the tannic acid is very low in a white oak. Uh, and that's mainly because a white oak is meant to germ right then and there. It's meant to go into the ground and start the growing cycle. Tannic acid slows that cycle down. So red oaks have more tannic acid, which gives them a more bitter taste than what white oaks do. White oaks have very little tannic acid in them because they are ready to go, where red oaks have to have a cold period for a certain amount of days, and then all of a sudden they're ready to germ. But for that reason alone, red oaks will last an awful lot longer on the forest floor than what white oaks will. So you will often find deer on the white oaks early, and then they will start transitioning to uh, the red oaks as we get into later on in the fall and early winter. Right here is a northern red oak. And you can just see, it just, this uh, northern red oak just absolutely sticks out at you like a sore thumb. Uh, just the way the bark looks, in my opinion, is the easiest way to tell a northern red oak. These are a few of the acorns that I found on the ground. You know, they're big, fat, um, have a lot of girth, that's typically what you're going to find on the northern red oak. So when I start looking around this northern red oak, which is a mature tree, I'm still seeing acorns on the ground. But there's not a ton of them. You can see one right there. 
but there's not the sign, the white tail sign that there was over at the other side where the white oaks were. They're just not as attracted to these northern red oaks right at the moment. They're hitting the white oaks in those woods so far, but the northern red oaks right now are dropping some. You definitely can see some out here, but they're definitely not getting hit. You don't see as many caps. You don't see as many acorns in general. They're, they're definitely having an off year compared to what the white oaks are. I believe this to be a southern red oak. You can see it's an absolute monster up in there. Now, cherry bark red oak and southern red oak look an awful lot alike. One way to tell them apart is you almost never find a cherry bark red oak up on the ridges. Well, as you can see, this is all hill going way uphill down here we're down in the bottoms we're right on the edge of the bottoms right here so this could go either way just looking at it i believe that that is a southern red oak but i can't say 100 for sure but i'm almost positive that's a southern red oak and not a cherry bark red oak there is no acorns whatsoever right here underneath this massive uh, southern red oak so no sign of any feeding going on around here no acorns so obviously it, what we've seen so far it looks like the reds are not producing as much as what they what the white oaks are i don't know what in the world that sucker is right there but good night 11 that's a big old flying insect right there okay guys we are down in the middle of the bottoms this is all hardwood uh, river bottom soil down in here. We're severely dry or this typically makes, uh, has water, makes like a little oxbow right here. You can see that big monster right there. I believe that to be cherry bark red oak. Here's the acorns that I found off it. It is dropping uh, small acorns with a pretty good size cap. And the deer are eating these. Down in these bottoms like this, is we typically don't have white oaks down in here. It's, you typically see a lot of cherry bark red oak down in here. It's typically what you see. You see a lot of gum, poplar, but you typically don't see a lot of white oaks in these bottoms. It would really help if I could get a leaf, but the darn tree is so big, it's like 80 foot to the first limb. So you can't really even ID it really good. Deer do seem to like those acorns. Uh, there's a lot of empty caps down here. You know, you can see several empty caps right there in a row. They're dropping, I would say, a moderate crop of them. There's not a ton, not just a blue billion of them, but the deer are definitely 100% eating these red oaks here. They, they do tend to like these. And I've noticed that before in these bottoms, these hardwood type bottoms. These big red oaks are really, really preferred for whitetails. Definitely got a really good trail. And it's going right to these two red oaks right here. One thing to mention, there's not a ton of these down here. So this is definitely a spot if you could get in and hunt, if you could have a scenario like this uh, on the farm you're hunting where you would really have some phenomenal hunting because there's not just a ton of oaks down in these bottoms. Okay, got another one here. Smaller tree this time. I believe this is a pin oak. The acorns on it. We've got two scrapes already underneath this tree. These acorns have been here for several weeks. It's definitely dropping some, or some on the ground. Obviously there's some deer in this area with that scrape, those two scrapes being there. I wouldn't have a lot of confidence setting up on this right now. I don't see a lot of evidence of a whole lot of deer staying right in here. I think this is more of a, probably a younger buck getting real excited about the rut, making some scrapes. We got one here. We got another right there. See where they drug it? You got another right there. And then there's two more down here. Every one of them has a licking branch as well. Four licking branch, five licking branch. Okay, I found another one later on today. This is a post oak. See the little acorns on it? There's actually several on the tree. They're just, they just haven't quite fell yet. Several little clusters 
uh, throughout. That's the tree right there. Not a lot of deer activity yet under this post oak. Here's a southern red oak, uh, also known as the Spanish oak. And what gives it away is that long slender at the very end here. It does have barbs. You can just kind of see how that goes. And there's two barbs on each side and then the point. That's a Spanish oak or a Southern red oak. Where should you be hunting right now? The answer that I'm seeing, um, bow hunting quite a bit for does during this early part of the season where I'm seeing the most concentration at of whitetails is in a spot just similar to this right here. Here's how we've got this set up. We've got big hardwoods right here. We're running along a river bottom slough. We've got several scattered oak trees right there in front of us, probably 30 yards out, 25, 30 yards out. We've got a standing cornfield here that has not been harvested yet, but it's dry and the whitetails are eating a lot of corn out of this. Bedding is just behind the oaks. You can see my lock on right there. I think you can see it. This is a spot where I can get in and out super easy without busting a lot of deer, which you guys know by now I'm a big fan of. I've got quality food right here as the corn. I've got the acorns right in front of me. I'm set up right on a slope. It's been a really good stand for me. Have have been able to shoot a lot of does out of that stand early in the season. And that's what they're doing. They're coming out, they're eating a few acorns, they're crossing the slough, they're getting into the corn, they're eating a little bit of corn, and they're headed right back to the acorns again. And then the pattern just continues all night long. Hunt a deer using spots just like this. So if you have solid uh, woods and then you've got a patch of white oaks, that's where I would be. If you're set up like me, more of ag country, I would set up where you have white oaks real close to you on the edge and then a corn food plot or a corn field. Either way, they are still eating corn right now. So they're eating corn uh, like they always do. They're just not eating as much of it because they're eating a lot more acres, but they still like corn. They are still going to this corn every single night. I think that's a really good setup that we can, that we can do. Anytime we can get two different food sources and us set up right in the middle of them and have an easy in and out, that is absolutely the way that we want to do it. So, so after a long day of harvest, I go to the farm where I can see the alfalfa plot on and the alfalfa field is absolutely cram packed full of deer. So deer are really hitting that hard right now. While the white oaks and red oaks are dropping so much right now, we think that our food plots are kind of null and void and that's really not the case. They're definitely not getting used like they would if there was no acorn crop, but they are definitely still in some of the most preferred food plots like the alfalfa, the standing cornfield, especially if you find a spot where the oaks are dropping close to that standing cornfield, you have got yourself a mighty good spot to set up on a mature whitetail. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like and subscribe button.